I have been testing every AI tool over the last year. And in this video, I'm going to break down by tier, which of these popular LLMs are actually worth using and will actually make you more money. We're going to talk through what each one is good at, what they're bad at, the value, and more. So let's get started with ChatGPT 4.0. So with ChatGPT 4.0, it is the flagship model of OpenAI's right now, and it's the fastest one. It is my business strategist. It actually remembers the things that I've talked about, and because it has that memory, it can compound together with me because as a human being, every day you're growing, right? You're compounding as well. Let's say you want to create a business around e-commerce. Let's say you want to sell flowers, for example. It can help you create a deep research guide that might have cost you thousands of dollars to do. It might have taken weeks for you to do, and it'll give you a 12 page report just doing that deep research. And then you can decide if you want to pursue that opportunity or not. Or if you want to come up with great creatives, and it'll even help you design these creatives using ChatGPT images. You can come up with different creatives. You can find different creatives that you like, and then maybe add in your own flair, your own touch to them. And you can have them modified, and you're just able to move a lot faster that way. So, ChatGPT 4.0, that is on the A tier. All right, next one on the list is Grok. So Grok is Elon's model. It is part of X. The beauty of Grok is that it pulls from all the real-time data that you're getting from Twitter. What that means is X has one of the largest open graphs out there where you can pull real-time information from, let's say, the stock market, or you have the smartest people in the world interacting. Maybe they're talking about the latest news that's happening. These other models aren't as quick as Grok, but my favorite thing about Grok is that, let's say I'm reading someone's tweet and this person's really smart. Let's say they're talking about something such as the Fed put for example, or they're talking about investing and there's some concept that I don't understand. So when someone says that there's actually a button for each of their tweets where there's a Grok logo and I could click on that Grok logo and ask it to explain what that tweet means. And for me, I get a lot of my information, a lot of my news from X because there are a lot of great sources. There's a lot of people that are boots on the ground, maybe the top investors in the world, the top entrepreneurs in the world, and they're sharing interesting data that I wouldn't get anywhere else. And it's real time data. And so if I want to have that distilled for me, I can use Grok to do so. Now, how does that make you more money? The more information you're intaking, the more faster you're going to be able to move. And that's why I rate Grok an A. So the next model is Google's Gemini. So Google's Gemini is interesting to me because its model is exceptionally good at coding. And so if you're trying to make money, you have to understand that the leverage points that you're going to pull when it comes to making money, it's going to be code, capital, labor, and media. Gemini is exceptional when it comes to code. Our engineers have switched over from another popular platform, which was number one in class. Now they're using Gemini in instead. And just keep in mind, this probably is going to be the new search default of Google. They're actively testing out new products. And the thing I'll say to you too, is that one of my friends from high school works at Google now and works on Gemini. And you will be the first to learn about the latest Gemini features on this channel, because I'm going to get early access to these new products. And I'll tell you, if you go open Google Labs, you're going to see all the new Gemini features that they're talking about all the time. You can bet that Google is one of the largest companies in the world. They're going to try to hold their lead. Again, if you can generate higher quality code faster, which is what Gemini is in the lead for, you're going to make more money that way. Because if you're going to try to build any products or services in the future, you're going to have to know how to leverage these models to get what you want to do done faster. So Gemini, I would actually place an S tier. So it's one level above Grok and ChatGPT because of the value that's already bringing to my businesses. Now we're on to DeepSeek. So DeepSeek is the open source model based in China and they became really popular because they are known for bringing the cost down for trying to drive inference, right? And so what I mean by that is maybe a couple months ago, ChatGPT's O1 model, that would cost $15 to generate, let's say a million tokens or so. For DeepSeek, it would cost 55 cents. And that was for the R1 model, but it's pretty exceptional. I've used it in the very beginning and it was very interesting. The reason why you use it is to just try to get your cost down by a lot. And so if you're looking to build Build, especially when it comes to products or services, you have to watch your costs at the end of the day. Any type of business that you're trying to build, you're going to have to watch your cost of goods sold. And this is a big piece of it, right? Because we're moving into a world, we're going to be paying a lot more for tokens. We're going to be paying a lot more for intelligence and intelligence is based off of tokens and all these things. There's an entire chain is what you're going to be building on top of, right? So DeepSeek, in my opinion, I don't use it that often as much as I would use like a ChatGPT or a Grok or a Gemini. So I would put it in a solid B class. So the next one is actually a feature of ChatGPTs, and I wouldn't call it an LLM exactly, but this is one of those agentic features that are out there that are being hyped up quite a bit. And so this one's known as ChatGPT Operator. And so if you wanted to, let's say you had a screencast, like a Loom video that you made, or maybe you have a process documentation that you want a machine to just follow, you can actually dump that into a ChatGPT Operator. The good thing about ChatGPT Operator is it is a lower tier employee right now that follows instructions relatively well. So if I wanted to help me source when it comes 
comes to recruiting. Maybe I want to have it find prospects for sales. It can do that, but you still are going to need to check on it every now and then. And so because it's fairly incomplete right now, I'd say it's fairly rudimentary right now. It's going to get better over time. But as of this recording date, it's probably a C. So again, ChatGPT operator is probably a C. Now I'm going to give you a little bonus here. ChatGPT operator might be a C, but there is Manus. So Manus is not exactly an LLM, but it's built on top of Anthropic's Claude. ChatGPT has ChatGPT operator. Manus is basically a form of an autonomous agent. And when I tell it to do something for me, such as create a blog post, it can basically scan my entire blog to figure out what my writer guidelines are. So understand that we want to have 1,500 to 2,000 words or so. Maybe you'll also understand that I want to rank for high intent keywords, but Manus will actually do all the keyword research. Then it'll figure out my writer guidelines and then it'll creak out 21 blog posts in a span of 30 minutes that are pretty high quality. We're talking 95% there. I would say that Manus is a version of a smarter employee. And so for me, my opinion with a Manus, that is an A. And we're going to see these things just continue to get better and better over time. The reason why it's not an S is because Manus does run into context window issues. I believe they'll solve that over time. The next one I wanted to talk about is Meta's LLMs. So Meta has Llama, right? And you can see that if you're using WhatsApp, if you are using Instagram messages, you can ask the AI questions. At least for me personally, I don't use it to ask questions. I find that Llama, even though it's open source, it doesn't do the best job of answering what I want it to do anyway. I'd rather just go back to Grok. I'd rather just go back to ChatGPT to do these things. It's just not quite there yet, right? And I think these things, again, will get better over time. But to me, meta LLMs right now, again, you can see it in WhatsApp. You can see it in Instagram. You can see it in your Facebook Messenger. It's a C right now. If you're in B2B, here's the deal. LinkedIn account-based marketing sucks, but it doesn't have to. With Carrot, it allows you to create personalized ads towards your customers and also personalized landing pages that align with the ads. So you're going to have higher conversions and influence pipeline reporting to prove that your ABM works. So if you want to learn more, just go to carrot.ai and you can join the waitlist. Again, it's carrot, K-A-R-R-O-T dot AI. And we'll see you on the other side. Now, another one I'm going to give you an example for is Notebook LM. Now, this is just a product that's built on top of Gemini. Now, I like Notebook LM because I can take different PDFs or different blog posts that I just don't have the time to read. Let's say it's a 42 page PDF. I can dump it into Notebook LM and I'll create an eight minute podcast that I can listen to. So you might be thinking, how am I going to make more money from this? Well, again, if you ingest more information that's critical to your business success faster, you're going to be able to make decisions faster because we're all just looking to ingest more information and take action on this information. I could take a two hour or four hour YouTube video such as Warren Buffett's shareholders meeting. So that's a great one because you're going to learn a lot about business trends there. And I can take that four hour video. I can dump that into Notebook LM. I can just dump that YouTube link in there and then it'll summarize it for me. It'll give me a briefing or I can listen to an eight minute summarized podcast of just the key takeaways from that ultimately is a huge time saver. That's going to help you just move a lot faster when it comes to making business decisions. So in my opinion, Notebook LM is in the B tier. I want to give you another model from OpenAI's ChatGPT, and that's ChatGPT 03. As an example, over the weekend, I took data from my QuickBooks. I just went into 03. I said, hey, I want you to give me an analysis of my net revenue retention and my gross revenue retention for my business. I would have had to pay thousands of dollars for this. I would have had to wait maybe days or weeks to get this analysis done. In a span of about five minutes or so, I had to go back and forth for a little bit. I had to find these exports from my financial documents. It told me exactly what I needed to look for. I dumped it in there and it created these beautiful graphs for me. And I truly understood that my retention rates were this amount and that amount for the last five years or so. And it really helped me tell a story because right now we're trying to recruit these executives to join my company. So the time to value to getting these things done and the cost savings, it is exponential. And so when I think about O3, when I think about strategizing for my business, when it comes to interviewing these executives right now, we're coming up with stress tests for the first 30 minutes or so, where there's an entire 30 minute rubric that we go through, where we try to stress test that and throw a bunch of things at that person to test how they respond under stress. And so when you have this AI assistant, you have the synthetic intelligence in your pocket that knows who you are. The knowledge is compounding every day. It remembers you and it's becoming infinitely smarter. You now have much more leverage. And so when I think about ChatGPT 03, that is S tier. All right, last but not least in these LLMs that will help you make more money is Anthropic's Claude. Now, Claude is amazing because it is really good at writing. It's really good at coding. It's also really good at creating graphs and diagrams. When I want Claude to help me create certain processes in my business, I use a product called Lindy.ai and it helps me make different workflows. And as an example, I want a coach to help people on driving the most leverage from their highest priority each day. And so, for example, for my company, every single day, people have to report in on the top three things they did the day before. 
before and the number one highest leverage thing that they're working on for today. By using Claude within Lindy, I'll just say, hey, I want you to serve as a coach. I want you to look at every person's daily one-on-ones within Slack and then coach these people in public. And then also create a leaderboard by the end of the month, just showing how consistent people have been, who has growth opportunities and just calling those things out. That puts things front and center. Because I use Claude 3.7 for that, it does a really good job. It's relatively cheap and it's a pretty good coach. And so by doing that, I've now created new work that previously nobody in my team would have done. And now this work is being done consistently. And I know I can trust Lindy plus using Claude's model to do that. Claude is also really good for coding as well. We are now using a combination of Claude's 3.7, which is the latest one that's good for coding and also Gemini's latest version too, right? And so you can decide which one you want to use. It seems to me that Gemini's catching up and I think it's going to be between Gemini and Claude. So Claude was the one that I was talking about a little earlier. But again, when I want to create different diagrams and when I want to have it help for coding, especially for writing, I think Claude does the best job for that. So I put Claude in the S tier in terms of helping you make more money. And I'll give you an honorable mention. So I, I kind of gave an honorable mention around Manus. It's not exactly an LLM because it's built on top of Claude, for example. Perplexity is not exactly an LLM. It pulls from different LLMs out there. It's, it's pretty good for search. I'm finding that these other LLMs are getting better. So we'll see what happens with Perplexity. And so that's the official tier ranking. If you want to know more on how to rank on these LLMs when it comes to LLM optimization, when it comes to just SEO for LLMs, you want to check out this video over here on how to rank number one on major LLMs.